Do you have a little bit of space, a little bit of time, and uh, even under hundred dollars, you and you want to move through how to grow your own food and expect to self-rescue. <laughs> no one else is going to rescue you. You're going to need to self-rescue. Then you've come to the right place because this is Get Growing Free Hydroponics Online. This is session number five. It was supposed to be tips and techniques for harvesting. However, we're going to take a little bit of a side note and we're going to visit more about seeds. And that's just because we've been working together and because we've been working together, I know that there have been some challenges with seeds starting. And really that happens no matter where you grow. In fact, Carol and I were talking about the fact that people don't grow from seeds. They go and buy the plants and plant them either outside and even sometimes in hydroponics because why, Carol? Why do people go and buy the plants? Um, well, some people just don't think they can grow from a seed or they don't have the patience to grow from a seed or they just don't know how to grow from a seed. <laughs> and as Melissa said, we were talking before it started and the session started and she says, I'm not giving up. <laughs> and that's what I want. I don't want you to give up. Before we start that though, there was something that Melissa noticed. What's behind me, Melissa? What did you notice? I noticed how big those lettuce leaves are getting. <laughs> yeah. I said, it has been seven days since our last session yeah. and they basically exploded. <laughs> Look. That's beautiful. It is. Oh my goodness. And and what we're not going to, and I, it was going to be, to, and then there was the plant. Remember the smaller one that had been in mm. the cold? Look how big it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just had a little tiny before. <laughs> so we're going to stick Yummy. those back in. Make sure we get the roots back in. We'll let this one have its place of honor for mm. a few minutes. So it can sit there and look very pretty and elegant. Not I mean, only I mean, that, I mean, go ahead, of a trophy. Like <laughs> it looks like a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know it does. <laughs> it looks fake. It does, doesn't it? It looks fake. It and does. <laughs> most people I know it does have, not taste fake because I have had some of your lettuce and that's what I'm rooting for myself to be able to do because I know it's phenomenal. That And that's exactly why I am rooting for you to be able to find the growth. And actually we compared notes. One of the starts that you put outside looks like one of mine that we started at the same time. This is the one from yesterday. So all the, all the plants here have all these starts have now, and they've been placed in the DWC. They've been in the deep water culture tank with aeration for approximately 10 days. And look, they all have true leaves and they're over two inches long. And this is a star fighter. This is, will look different than the, the head so the green butter has a head and this starfighter has, uh, is a loose leaf, is a looser leaf. And speaking of true leaves, this is one of, I know that Melissa has some of these <laughs> growing, some lupus. And if you look, there's a difference. This is, it's a cotyledon. These are the leaves that come from the hypocotyl. And these are the true leaves. And they're different. So you'll know when you're looking for true leaves and that we'll need to know that. And let's go into that. We'll need to know that when we start to transplant. But let's, let's go with more about seeds. Let's say you prefer soil. We got that. Melissa has told us that <laughs> she said what? That you can't, you can't grow where? In outside. my backyard, due right, to right, she yes, <laughs> due to many critters that love to eat. 
all of so, the things. <laughs> this year was the first time in four years that we have actually taken and placed starts in soil. And part of the reason was so that we could have a comparison part was because we had a little bit more control. But if you'll see, I'm going to just very gently poke up on this one. And if you'll take a look, what I'm going to do is I have a nice start here. A nice start, it's a nice ceiling, and I'm just going to rinse off very gently because this is the hypocotyl. But do you look and see it's got more roots, so I'm going to rinse those off because I don't want to introduce dirt into the system. But then I'm going to take an already wet, but not dripping. <laughs> and I went there. What do they say about planting seeds in soil? The soil needs to be moist, but not wet <laughs> for any period of time. So I've taken this Rockwell cube and I'm now going to wrap and place it very gently inside the Rockwell cube, the seedling. Again, remaining gentle with it, but I know this has true leaves, so I'm not as concerned about it because it has true leaves. And then I'm going to take and place it and I'm going to make sure that my, you see the, the neck cup? I want to make sure that my roots come through the neck cup. I wanna make sure that my roots cut through the neck cup. So I put those in and now I'm going to put the Rockwell cube around it. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to place in the lightweight expanded clay aggregate, those pebbles. And that that I started in soil, because you can be successful with soil, I'm going to take this and in one of those places where I had space, I'm going to place it and it's up here in one of these. I'll place it here for now. But I'm just going to take this and put it in my DWC tank. So it doesn't matter. You can start in. So this is a pepper plant that was started in what? Soil. I took, cleaned it off. I put it gently into the Rockwell cube, placed it in the hydroponic tank. Let's go the other way. So that was soil to hydro because actually it's not growing hydroponically until you get the seedlings into the hydroponic tank or into your NFT or into a, another form of hydroponic system. These plants are growing hydroponically. And we're going to transfer these into soil. These are tomatoes. Look how long the root is on that. But these, if we can, <laughs> you can keep growing tomatoes and you can grow tomatoes hydroponically. But what do you know about tomato growth? <laughs> it goes what? Yeah, straight up. <laughs> it keeps going up. And you can see that these are going there. But why, why start them in hydroponics? We start them in hydroponics because hydroponics is two to three, to, germinates faster and the growth is two to three times faster. So now is actually the perfect time for gardeners who are going to be gardening outdoors, planting outdoors in containers, in raised beds. Now is the perfect time to be growing where? Starting your seedlings in what? Uh, Rockwell or hydroponically. Yeah. Hydroponics, I, exactly. Just that, yeah. Because um, I, this is very helpful for me, especially because I'm an outdoor gardener and I know what to do outdoors. And I understand by, I've seen what you can do. And my first or second batch indoors hydroponically weren't cooperating with me, but it was my fault because I, they were too saturated is what I've decided. So I did save one and put it outside. And I actually thought I'll take some of these that are growing and bring them inside. So it's very helpful for me and my last batch that I put in, I put 
everything that I grow outside because I'm like, what, how can you lose? If, if you can get a seed started <laughs> with some roots, whether like I can't grow my okra indoor, obviously eggplant, tomato. So right. I appreciate knowing that it's going to be very helpful for me. Because it's just, it's, well, and part of what happens to gardeners at this point in time is that you don't have here, we've got 14 to 16 hours of light and then plenty of time to rest. Then they have the time to rest because the darkness is when a lot of growth occurs. People don't realize that you don't want the light on the entire time because they need to rest. They need to not have photosynthesis occurring. But that way, when, if you start now, if you start indoors, then you have more predictable light. You also don't have the risk of a plant coming up and insects. Or we've had snow in March and or in April. And so that is, this makes it just more successful. And I did have, um, I planted indoor on paper towel to see the root, my beet seeds, because they're, I plant outdoors. I have no problem with planting seeds outdoors, but I, I wanted to see the roots because that can be a little tricky. I had um, 56 beets growing. They were beautiful. Uh, two weeks into it, they were gorgeous. I said to my husband, look at these, they're beautiful. I'm so excited. The very next day we went out, all but three of those were eaten, all but three. And I had to go buy them at that point because the weather I needed to buy them, it was like $76 to replace that. So this will be amazing growing them inside because you got to get them to a little bit of a start to put them out. And you, and you said it, thank you, Carol. That's exactly it. And Melissa said it, she said she's determined because she doesn't have that option. And a packet of seeds is very different than going and buying the plant. But it, let's just say you can buy a start plant if you want. They're running three to four dollars though. These tomato plants that are here every other roll, because we have Seminole pumpkins and there's some squash in here. These tomatoes were the ones, these tomato plants were the ones that were in Oasis cubes and were just extras. <laughs> and Might have and a lot so, of people in a greenhouse you know, and so. Perfect. Why look at options for seed? Why look at options for seed? Because if we don't, if, if I had said this one way is the right way, and you've heard me say that it's no one fails, you find a way that doesn't work. But if, if you, if I had said, this is the only way to do it, this is the only way, I said, I'm passionate about hydroponics, because I want to expect to self-rescue. I want to know where my food comes from and I want it to taste good. I, after tasting hydroponically grown lettuce, you'll never go back. <laughs> you'll never go back. But if we only approached it with, this is the one way, it would be saying that the only tool I've got available to me, the only one I have available to me is a hammer. That means that every single problem you have looks like a nail. No, no, you have screwdrivers, you have wrenches. In fact, in desperate times, I've used the wrench as a hammer <laughs> to hammer something in. I want it where you see options and you see possibilities and that we go from hydroponic to soil and soil to hydroponic and what we're really doing is helping people to grow their own food. So they're self-sufficient and things are sustainable. What is something, oh, one other trick I wanted to tell you about. When you go from, and this is really important, <laughs> note this, when you go from hydroponics and start in the hydroponics, this little plant, when it goes out after the last possible, the last possible frost, when it goes out and we put it into the ground, it's going to be covered with this type of pot. Now you'll look and see this is not an expensive pot, but it has holes and it also, so it will let in some sun and it will let in some what, what it needs, but what it does, check on it, but at least 
every for at least how many days is it one week about one week make it where you keep it covered and that helps them to survive that makes sense it's like um where you have to harden off your seedlings and get them used to their new environment exactly and and this has brought the most success in transferring from hydroponics and i really i sat back and thought when was the last time we grew in soil, we started seeds in soil? And I could not remember it. I had soil that needed to be remediated. It was just difficult. And I had um, interesting critters uh, consuming as well outside. <laughs> Lee, our session was not long tonight. I just wanted to continue to explore things. Next week, we will talk about tips and techniques for uh, harvesting. If, and, and when you do put in, you know, you can, you know, it doesn't even have to be this difficult. You could take a seed starting soil, sprinkle it in a tray, sprinkle seeds, add a little bit of uh, water, sprinkle the seeds on top. And when they start growing up, you can pluck them off and start them in your hydroponics. It doesn't have to be complicated. Summary word. What's a word that summarizes what we talked about during this session of get growing? Maybe we'll alternative measures. Alternative measures. Very well said. Why alternative measures, Carol? Well, because for one thing, I started off and thought it was great. I had 12 seedlings come up and I was just ready to go. And three days later, they were all dying. It took me a while. I'm like, what happened? They were beautiful. And I just, this is like my third set. And I'm just now getting the right um, amount of water for the rock well to figure it out. I was, I oversaturated my first batch, not really realizing it, it takes, it's like, it's even outdoors. You, you have to learn. I mean, it takes time to figure out exactly like how much water did I really need in that rock? Well, it was my fault. I, I saturated them and they did not like that. So the last <laughs> batch I did, I've got like eight now. I'm hoping by maybe in a week and a half, I'll get some true leaves. So I'm excited about that. And I'm going to go pull that a small little uh, seedling and put it back in the house just to see what it nice. happens. You just have to keep trying. It's just like, if you're used to outdoor gardening, you had to learn and you had to go through a lot of different things to get it to work. Same thing. So perfectly, per yeah. perfectly said, perfectly said. Uh, and, and thank you for that encouragement. We know that people, that's one of the reasons why people quit is because of the seed starting, the seed start. Melissa, what's a summary word for you? Yeah, I mean, I loved that alternative measures that you said, Carol, and I would just add, yeah, like, try again, try again. And that's what we did today um, in our school for science. We're, we're covering some, you know, uh, botany units and things that so we, we started our seeds from the very beginning and I had the kids, you know, balancing the pH and they, they mixed up their water very carefully and they each, you know, use the tweezers to pick out the lettuce that they wanted. <laughs> I let them pick their own seeds and they, you know, just basically everything you've taught us. And we started from square one today and I said, guys, we're just gonna do this. And they, they carried it very carefully over to their little seed warmers. And um, I think it's gonna be, it's, it's just fun to watch them. And I, and I was telling them like, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't able to do this. Maybe all together we could, we can make this happen this time. So they're, they're very invested. And it was really neat, like starting from the beginning with everything and explaining it to kids. So I really appreciated that. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. And that was one of the things that I want, and, and I'm going to be sharing with, with Melissa's children as well. When we start uh, our, our STEM lessons, when I start my STEM lessons on making math exciting and, and igniting and, and putting the fire back in science and math because we're going to be using um, scientific method and only one uh, one variable. And I know they're growing how uh, I mentioned they're growing loofah as well. And plant this outside. It, you will have a lot of sponges. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you for 
being in session five with me. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for watching the, <laughs> the Let Us Grow with me. And we will be back next week to discuss how to harvest some tools, some techniques, just some little tricks for that to make it where you can come again. And if you, if you like what you saw, subscribe <laughs> so you always know to come back. Also visit Hydro for Food. That's Hydro, the number four for food.com for resources, for my blog, and for what is happening as we get growing with hydroponics.